Hello, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Mirage. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. I need your eyes, my friend. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabicha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was, while Al Mutawakil lived. But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira. And try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Show me the path ahead. I'm gonna go steal that guy's clothes right off of his body. A eunuch's uniform freshly tailored. Perfect. How long is this? Looks ready to me. Uh -huh. Across the chest and gut. I am a eunuch now. So let me in. No restrictions. Hopefully, this will work. <laughs> Tomahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. That was slick as hell. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umuvalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? 
The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. What the hell? Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? <laughs> So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Yeah. Bigger eyes might add to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. Paint and potion acquired. Now to get that key. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Pain, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Seriously, just beat that dude with my bare hands. Another way in. Huh. <clears throat> Quarters fit for a Khalifa. The garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. There you are. Enjoy. <laughs> Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. 
I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. <laughs> this portion, it... It gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. Oh my if god. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. God damn. <laughs> I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? A hairpin. Nings. When did Qabiha get it? A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Qabiha herself. What is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go, now. Give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. What the hell, I man? did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them? Fada and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. Holy shit, that was a crazy-ass chick. 
I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. Alright, well I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.